Hi everybody, welcome back and tonight I'm going to share with you another sequence that should hopefully help you to sleep. I'm ready for bed and ready to just wind down after a busy day um, and hopefully this will help you to do the same. So I've noticed that there's a few videos that have gone viral recently with doctors showing breathing exercises, almost like physio to help with the lungs um, and a good starting point is with yoga breathing um, and that's why they've said that it could be beneficial for anybody with any respiratory illness so I'm just going to start the sequence with a little bit of breathing if you'd like to join me find a comfortable position sitting up straight if you can on the floor remembering that if you use a block to elevate your hips It'll allow the hip flexors to point down a little more, relax a little more. So just find in a comfy position, make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Rest in the hands on the tops of the knees. And beginning to focus on your breathing. So close your eyes. Just allowing the breath to come and go in through the nose and out through the nose. Starting to lengthen the breath a little, so the out breath gets a little longer. Start to count in your head. So see if you can aim for three or four seconds for the inhalation. Now retain the breath just for a second and release. Five or six seconds if you can, maybe seven. So again, inhale, one, two, three. Retain for a second, exhale. Aim in for seven seconds. Notice how you begin to feel a little bit more relaxed. So just focusing the energy elsewhere getting outside of your head, just allowing the mental attention to carry away with the exhalation. So remembering that little pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. We'll bring a little movement in with the breathing now. So open your eyes for a second. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, taking the hands above the head, palms together, backs of the hands together. Exhale, lowering the hands back down towards the mat. Inhale, taking the arms out to the side. A little pause as you swap the direction of the hands. Exhale and slowly lower. That's great. And now if you just come down into cat position. So for cat, making sure that you have your hands directly underneath your shoulders, the knees underneath your hips, keeping the arms straight, a little gap between the fingers, making a nice firm base. Tops of the feet are flat on the mat. Just gazing down towards the floor. Inhale and begin to dip the lower back. Lift the tailbone. Then lifting the chest, lifting the head. Exhale, take the head down. Look between the legs, draw the stomach muscles in, arch the back. Inhale, slowly dipping the back, lifting the tailbone, lifting the head. Exhale, take the head down. Look between the legs. Draw the stomach muscles in, arch the back. And again, keep the movement going, the movement of your own breathing. And coming back to cat with a flat back. Sit back onto your heels, take the knees nice and wide apart. Slowly walk the hands forward, lower the chest, lower the forehead towards the mat. Just allow the hips to relax. Relax the shoulders. And 
remembering not to hold the breath, just breathing normally. With each exhalation, letting go of any tension that you're holding on to. Inhale, move the hands slowly back towards you, lifting the head up very slowly. And then coming back into your neutral cat posture. You then take your knees back so that you're laying down on your mat. Bring the hands to the sides, I haven't got much room here. I'm working with a little area where um, there's quite a lot of toys. I've just got to move something. I'll be, be right back. So, starting with the hand down in front. Just looking down towards the mat. Just have the tip of the nose touching the mat. Tops of the feet are flat on the floor. On your next inhalation, slowly start to lift the head and slide the forearms back towards you so that your elbows are underneath your shoulders. The forearms are flat on the mat and the chest is lifted with the shoulders are relaxed and just gaze ahead. So you can feel that it's a little stretch for the lower back, that you shouldn't feel any pressure at all. If you need to come out, just come down slowly, slide the arms forward. But this should be suitable for everybody, including beginners, because your stomach is still connected with the mat. So just take a few breaths, it's a very gentle back bend. Aiming to slide the shoulders down away from the ears. Just creating the space. And then we'll come back down. Making a pillow with our hands, one hand on top of the other. The cheek comes down to rest on the top of the hands. Bend the knees, bring the feet up towards the body and gently take the feet from side to side. Turn the head the opposite way. And then place the feet back down onto the mat. We're going to slide the hands back underneath the shoulders again. This time push up so that you're in your cat posture. And then move the hands forwards a little, tuck the toes under and come into a downward dog position. So for downward dog, just have your feet about hip distance apart. We're aiming the heels towards the floor. So you're in an inverted V shape. The arms are straight. Take the head gently from side to side. Make sure the neck is relaxed. You can walk the legs out, taking the knees alternately down towards the mat and you're aiming to lengthen the spine <coughs> so if you need to bend the knees so that the back is straight rather than having this kind of rounded back that can sometimes happen now i'm just going to show you a technique that helps with restless legs if you ever get that lift one leg give it a little wiggle behind lower it down Lower the leg down. And you've had a good stretch out now. Lower the knees down onto the mat. Sit back onto the heels. Again, lowering the body towards the mat. Slowly lifting the head. Coming back into your neutral cat posture. Bring in the right hand out in front, thumb and forefinger touching. We're going to sweep the arm out to the side with the inhalation. Exhale, slowly lower the hand back down towards the mat. You might get to here or here. You might find you can lay your arm down completely. Again, just resting the ear on the mat. 
using your other palm as a little lever. So see if you can lift the knee away. Don't worry, that's not for you, you can just leave that bit out. See if you can take your hand around, take hold of your foot. And slowly lower, putting the knee down to the mat before using the hand as a little lever to push the head away. Inhale, sweep the arm out to the side, exhale and slowly lower. And we do that on the opposite side, so inhale. Exhale, lower in the hand, take it behind the wrist, lower in the arm down before the ear comes down onto the mat. And again. Look, little balance. And exhale, lower the knee, placing the hand down before inhale, push on the palm of the hand. Exhale, following the hand with the eyes if you can. Sit back onto the heels. Stretching out the arms in front. Inhale, slowly lifting the head. And finishing by coming down onto the mat. I'm going to show you a very quick relaxation technique doesn't require any flexibility really. Resting the legs up against the wall, arms down by the sides, keeping the legs straight. Legs up the wall, just allows the heart to have a bit of a rest. It's very relaxing. You can stay there for five minutes. We're bringing the knees down onto the chest. And slowly roll over onto your side. And that's your little alternative relaxing sequence to do before bedtime. And I'll see you all again soon.